Pudol season na naman ba? At hindi mo na naman tinitingnan yung budget mo in terms of buying stuff for your dog. Well, I am here to share with you today yung mga bagay na I think hindi mo naman na kailangan talagang investan when you own a chow chow or a dog in general. So if you wanna know more, please keep on watching. It's me, Mommy Lay. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome back po sa aking mga subscribers and mga viewers on a weekly basis. Kung tayo mag-start sa vlog na to, it's time for comment of the week. Wow, may ganun talaga. So every week, uh, magbabas natin ko mga comments nyo. And this is from Kylie Angel Got My Tan. So she says, Hello, Mommy Nave. Been watching your vlogs for months now and it really helped me as a new fur parent to raise my child. He's already seven months now. Very informative and inspiring lahat ng videos. Okay, so ito po talaga ang nagpapapush sa akin na mag-vlog every single week. Yung seven months na niya ako pinapanood at natutulungan ko po siya sa kanyang chow-chow. So, Kylie, thank you also for watching my vlogs. Hopefully, healthy yung dog mo. And, yun, thank you for watching me. So, yun, if you want na i-shoutout ko kayo sa aking next video, comment below, share your experiences. Um, ayun, and I would be glad to help you all the time. Question man to or comment sa aking mga videos para mas mapabuti ko pa ang um, content ko sa aking channel. So, yun. Thank you again, Kylie, and to your dog. Next time, lagi nyo yung name ng dog nyo para mas shoutout din natin. Okay? Here with me is Theodore. Say hi! So, he's very tired kasi kaka-walk lang namin dalawa. So, ayun. So, when Theodore was a puppy, I created this vlog already. Yung mga things that you shouldn't buy. Um, so, I decided to create part 2 kasi malaki naman na si Theodore. And, napapansin ko pa rin on social media, on yung mga binibilhan nating mga e-commerce apps. Marami ako nakikita doon na parang mga unnecessary things naman. Na I think personally na hindi naman na kailangan nating i-purchase. Alam mo yon mas better mag-focus tayo sa mga bagay na mas importante para sa ating mga pets. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, number one on my list is buying lots of different kinds of food bowls for your dogs. At I think personally, hindi talaga siya worth investing. Kasi maraming mga iba't ibang klase. Mga ceramic, may glass pa nga, diba? yung mga stainless, ganyan. Pero ako personally, ang ginagamit ko talaga, stainless bowls. Bakit po? Number one, uh, mas madali siyang linisin. Number two, mas affordable siya. And number three, hindi siya babasagin. Which is yung mga ceramic. Pero yes, aesthetics po siya guys. Pero technically, madali siyang mabasag. Or may, may possibility siyang mabasag. At baka ma-injure pa yung mga dogs. So ako personally, I'd stick to something like this. Yan po yung ginagamit ni Theodore. So yun. So if I were you guys, yun. Medyo hold back tayo sa mga ganyan. Um, not unless trade na yung dog nyo. But ako personally, I am for pro comfort when it comes to dogs. At na-share ko na to sa aking previous vlog na it's ideal na magkaroon ng height yung kanila food bowls. Um, at right now, I'm providing Theo a stool for when he eats. Pero when he was younger, this. Ayan. So, it is a food stand for his bowls. And bumili ako noon, nung papi pa lang siya. So, okay. Kamusta naman yun, guys? So, syempre, nung lumaki siya, masyadong mababa na yung kanyang food bowl. So, hindi ko na-assume na kailangan mataas na yung pinagawa ko para hanggang adult life na niya. So, yun. Prevent from buying things like this. Kasi hindi mo rin siya magagamit uh, eventually. So, yun. Kung papagawa man kayo, guys, yung adult na siya, yung 1 year old, 2 year old na siya, para alam mo na talaga yung perfect height ng iyong to. Okay? Okay, itong next na bagay na to, eh, nag-work for me for quite some time kasi malamang papi pa si 
Theodore. And if you own a Chow Chow, I suggest hindi po ito nakakatipid kapag bili po kayo ng bili na dog wipes. Okay, so I think one pack is around 120 pesos to 150 pesos depending on the brand. So, okay. Nung maliit siya, kaya pa eh, kaya pa eh. Boss lang, ganyan. Pero ngayon, full grown, chow chow na po siya. Hindi siya worth it to invest on, personally. Aside from that, hindi pa siya healthy for the environment. So, my alternative option for you guys is might as well get or purchase yung mga maliliit or mga medium size na mga labakara. Bili kayo nun ng mga mga 5 to 8 pieces depending on how many times you walk your dog. Tapos yun, pwede mo na siyang labhan lang. Alam mo yun, mas affordable at magagamit mo siya. Ayun, environmentally friendly pa siya guys. Next naman is, ito, papansin ko to, since I already live in the city of Pines. At, uh, yun nga, madalas ko nakikita sa uh, mga travelers that goes here in our city. Um, sorry po ha, pero talaga ako, real talk lang naman dito sa akin channel. Nihirapan po talaga ako dun sa mga tao na nagte-travel with strollers with them. Strollers, as in talaga dog strollers. To me, talaga, personally, especially if you're owning a chow chow, this is a no-no. Like, okay, do not put your chow chows on strollers, okay? Um, they love walking, they love running, they like exercising. So, um, it's, it's a, you think like you're giving them comfort by putting them in a stroller and walking them. No, guys, you're actually not making them happy. Or worst of all, you're pissing them off because they cannot walk. So, if I were you guys, put your dog on the leash. Train them to walk beside you. Train them to, alam mo yun, talagang enjoy the nature. Especially kung pupunta ka sa lugar na yun nga, gusto mo silang ipasyal, gano'n. And um, aside from that, most of the time, inconvenient po ito sa mga travelers or inconvenient to sa mga owners kasi they have to carry the entire, you know, the entire stroller and all. This is not their nature po, putting them on stroller. You simply guys, na ilalagay mo yung aso sa kotse, hindi na yun feeling uh, natural sa kanila. That's why they pee, they get dizzy, they get anxious, they pant a lot. Ano pa yung kasi lagay mo pa sila sa stroller? Talagang sobrang hinuhumanize mo na siya. So personally, especially po talaga if you're owning a chow chow, this is a no, no. Another thing na nakikita ko sa mga malls, sa mga parks, um, yun, yung buying dog shoes. Okay, kahit anong size, bibila nila ng dog shoes yung kanilang dog guys na, sige, malamang sabihin nyo, eh, tinahin naman yan or ginawa naman yan para sa mga aso. And again, it's unnatural for them. And if you want a happy dog, might as well give them yung life na, ano yung closest to their nature. Yung paws po nila, eh, talagang equip. <laughs> equip to walk on streets, hot, cold, kaya wag lang sobrang init, ha, doon sobrang lamig. Pero, natural po siya kanila. Yun, yun na po yung shoes nila. Yung paws na po yung shoes nila. At yun na po yung talaga yung nagpa-protect sa kanilang skin underneath their paws. So, let's prevent from from doing this. Nahihirapan po yung dogs. And ako, personally po talaga, this is something that is unnecessary. Um, yeah, so, don't, if I were you, let's not invest this. Kung aesthetics lang po, sige po. Pwede siguro kung for picture taking lang, yung hindi talaga. Pero yung to walk your dog, most of the time, napapansin ko po talaga, nahihirapan yung dogs. So, yun. Um, yeah, might as well just let them walk with their paws. Okay, last but not the least. Um, ito, hinuli ko talaga to dahil feeling ko sobrang-sobrang importante yung malaman nyo to, guys. Ayong children or people vitamins for your dogs. So, actually, let's focus on yung mga vitamins na binibigay natin sa mga anak natin, which are yung mga tiki-tiki, yung mga vitamin C na binibigay natin sa ating mga anak. So, marami po kasi nakikita ang mga dog channel 
here in the Philippines that parang in-encourage nila na magbigay nito. If it works for their dogs, choice po nila yun as a fur parent. I respect that. Pero personally po talaga, I'd go for something that was made for dogs. So, yung mga tiki-tiki po kasi, anyan, it was formulated for humans. So, we don't know the latter effect of this in the bodies of our dogs, in, in the bodies of our chow chows. And kung may chow chow ka, sobrang active po ng mga chow chow natin. So, if I were you guys, um, I'd go for yon yung mga isang suggest po talaga ng ating mga vets. There you have it, guys. Hopefully, may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy Ne. So, kayo, ano ba ba? Yung mga bagay na feeling nyo waste of money na talagang pinag-investan nyo tapos, my God, nabudol ka lang pala. So, yun. Share your experiences below and I will shout out whatever I feel is interesting for my viewers. So, there you have it, guys. Thank you again for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in my next vlog.